In most of the previous video pertaining to this chapter, we were looking at something called monohybrid inheritance. Monohybrid inheritance basically means the inheritance of one gene. In my example here, I showed you the inheritance of a gene for body color. But in all my examples, you were looking at one gene, the gene for body color or the gene for feather color or the gene for coat color. So you see, we are just looking at one particular gene in all these examples. Now, for this part of the video, however, what we are going to be looking at is something known as dihybrid inheritance. Now, dihybrid inheritance just means the inheritance of two genes. So we're going to make it a little bit more complicated, right? So instead of just looking at one gene, we are going to look at two genes. For example, if I'm drawing out this organism over here, this organism, as an example, has two genes that affect the characteristics. For example, it has a gene for body color, which affects the body color, obviously, and a gene for body shape, which will, you know, uh, influence the shape of the organism's body. Now, I am just throwing out another organism over here. <laughs> it looks a bit like a, I guess it's a tiger, if you can call it that. And this tiger, as an example, also has two genes in my example. Um, and the tiger has a gene for fur color and the gene for blood type. I am just highlighting the two different genes that these organisms have. Now, when it comes to dihybrid inheritance, however, um, dihybrid inheritance can be split into two things, unlinked genes and linked genes. Now, I'm going to draw out the chromosomes for the unlinked genes, and I'm going to draw out the chromosomes for the linked genes, as you can see right here. When the gene, if you notice, the gene for body color is located in one chromosome and the gene for body shape is located in a separate chromosomes. When the two genes are located on different chromosomes, we call it unlinked genes. Quite simple. But if you notice for the case of the tiger, in, in my example, by the way, please do not memorize this, um, the gene for fur color and the gene for blood type are located on the same chromosome but they are just on different positions or different loci. Uh, what do I mean by different loci? The gene for fur color is at the top part of the chromosome and the gene for blood type is at the bottom part of the chromosome. They are within the same chromosome. And if these two genes are within the same chromosomes, these are referred to as something called as linked genes right here. Now, you might be thinking, so what's the big deal? Why do I have to care about this linked genes or unlinked genes. The inheritance when it comes to unlinked genes and the pattern of inheritance when it comes to linked genes will be significantly different and we are going to be looking at them in the subsequent videos. So, you know, uh, be prepared for that. <laughs> 